it is my final day home until I head to my third contract with Royal Caribbean. I am so excited. I can't believe the day is already here and I'm just going to spend this day finalizing everything and just finish preparing myself because I'm pretty much all set to go but there's a few like little things that need to be finished. I did receive my PCR results last night and they came back negative thank goodness so that is a huge relief and hopefully my stress pimples start to go away because of that um but I do have to get an antigen test today as well because that needs to be 24 hours before my flight so I'm gonna get that done today and then just print a few more things and just finalize my luggage so that everything is ready. As excited as I am for this contract, I am very stressed about the current situation that's happening over in Ukraine. Um, my heart goes out to everyone that is impacted by this. I'm absolutely heartbroken for all the Ukrainian people and I just really hope that things will get better. I don't even know what to say. I cannot believe that this is happening and why why it's happening is beyond me but i'm not going to talk much about this situation because for starters i don't really know all the history and background of the conflict between ukraine and russia so i don't want to talk about something that i'm not extremely knowledgeable on that being said i don't want to come off as insensitive for not putting too much focus on what's happening in the world um, but this is just my perspective and I hope you can all understand where I'm coming from. I am almost fairly certain that it will impact my contract on Voyager because we were supposed to cruise around Scandinavia and one of our ports was Russia, St. Petersburg to be exact. Um, so I'm fairly certain that will not be happening. And um, I guess we will just see in the coming days and weeks where we will end up, if we'll stay in Europe for our itinerary or if they're gonna relocate us. But the most important thing is safety, everyone's safety. So I would rather be safe than be in an environment that is dangerous. I do want to get a little workout in this morning before the chaos of today begins, so let's get to it. for a contract is so much more work than what it seems. I have a lot of stuff in my room which is stressing me out, just kind of cluttered all over the place, things on the floor, on my desk, like it just needs to be taken care of. So I'm gonna pick up that stuff, shouldn't take me too long. I need to start a load of laundry and then I'm gonna cook some breakfast. When I mean cluttered, this is what I mean. This is very unlike me. It's very unusual that I have stuff just piled all over the place with no set order. So we need to take care of this because I'm getting extremely stressed out. Amazon package I'm excited about. I haven't really even taken a look yet. I just ripped it out of the normal packaging. So I saw these little belts somewhere, maybe on TikTok or I don't remember, maybe on YouTube. And basically they have elastic on the back so they fit anyone. I actually left my black belt in New York. I don't know how I did that, but I did. And I needed new ones anyways. So now I don't have to deal with like poking holes into belts that are too big for me because these ones are like form fitting. 
So I got a pack of four. I got a black one, like a taupe one, tan, and then like a navy blue. Here they are. I thought they were pretty cute and nothing too crazy. You know, they'll go with everything. Obviously I don't need a belt today because I'm wearing leggings, but I'm just gonna show you how it works. So you just wrap it around and hook it together. Cute. Bully Nutrition actually sent me some of their vitamin gummies. So they sent me the super fruit gummies and I tried them yesterday and oh my God, these are delicious. So I'm gonna pack these with me on the contract because vitamins are hard to come by on board. And I'm also gonna pack my women's multivitamin gummies from Target. All right, time to get tested again. Oh, the angel. Miss her. <laughs> All right, see you. Yeah. We're here, but I'm not sure where to go. Maybe it's this tent? To be honest, I'm not sure if I have to call or like, cause I don't see anyone near me. Hello. Hello, Jordan. Yes. So is this from exposure or symptoms? Neither, I have to get uh, tested to go to my job. Oh, perfect. Word up, we are done. That really tickled. Let's get on track. Actually, let's pull over. I want coffee. Let's find a coffee spot. Oh yes. Oh yes indeed. I will not be taking any Duncan slander at this time. Here we have it. Looking gorge. Just something to take the edge off as they say. Mm. Oh yeah. That is stuff. People are gonna be questioning me and wondering why I didn't go to Starbucks. And I understand your concern, even though literally no one asked. Um, yeah, there was a Duncan like two minutes from where I got tested, so I figured that was the easiest route to go. A bit. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, there was just a huge accident. That person just rear-ended the other one. Oh my god. 20 minutes later. I'm in the spare bedroom. I need to finish off my packing because obviously it's like 95% done. But I have just like odds and ends that I still need to pack away. And I'm gonna feel a huge sense of relief once this is taken care of. I'm bubble wrapping my precious hot sauce because that would be a disaster if that broke in my luggage. I got this email from correlation specialist so I have to check in for my contract and I also have to uh, register for my flight pass for Cyprus. I just had a mental breakdown for like a good hour um, because I was checking in for my flight and as I was checking in, it wasn't accepting my PCR tests. Why? I don't know. Come to find out, my PCR test has to be 72 hours before my final flight and not my departure flight, which never once was mentioned and has never been a problem in the past. And since I will be traveling for like over 24 hours before my last flight, it's almost ridiculous. It takes two to three days to get a result as it is. Yeah, so basically tomorrow I have to get another antigen test, even though I just got one like three hours ago. matters worse, of course, because it can't ever just be simple. My first flight of three just got canceled. So I luckily was able to get my flight switch. So I called Carissist and they helped me rebook new flights, but I did have like an eight hour layover in London, which was like a little intense. Yeah, I called back and was able to switch my final flight. So I have new flights. I'm supposed to get into Cyprus around 6 p.m. 
fingers crossed that they don't get canceled, but um... Here we go. Here we go. Talk, tick tock. Take as much time as you'd like. Throw it old. And there she, there, she there she is! There she is! There she is! We're coming, we're coming. Seriously, since you've been like 16, I was like, someday we're gonna open one of these bottles. Today is it's the day. supposed to be like fabulous wine. After what has been a very stressful day, it's time for wine. <laughs> this is the Jordan Chardonnay. I've never had it. My mom has never had it, but we just have a print in our house of the logo of Jordan Chardonnay. So we are going to crack this open. Oh, okay. There we go. The expert. Yes. Mmm. Let me say this one. That is there. one even pour. Look at that. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Cheers. Oh, it's really good. Oh, it is good. It's very dry. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Give us some words of wisdom to carry me through the next eight months, nine months. Roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. Don't let the punches Always be positive. roll on you. Don't let the punches roll on you. Yeah, we're watching the change up. I've never seen it, but it's pretty funny so far. Right, Mom? It's good. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Boy, I don't see Jordan's camera nearly enough. Here, I have my hoodie on still. <laughs> All my fans. Hi, fans. Please write about me. Say nice things. night with my baby and I'm very sad to be leaving her and of course my parents too but um yeah it was a very stressful last day home my flight tomorrow fingers crossed all goes well but my first flight is at 3 39 so I have about half of the day or like at least the morning at home which is good for me to just like get everything organized um Oh my god. I'm just praying that everything goes smoothly tomorrow and the day after with all of my flights. Again, my heart just goes out to the people of Ukraine. I support you, my heart is with you, and I cannot believe what is happening right now. I'm just um, at a loss for words. This is a day that I will never forget for the rest of my life. But thank you guys so much for watching through all of my <laughs> ups and downs of the day. I love you all to bits and I will see you tomorrow for my travel vlog. Say bye Coco Bean.